Today's exercise, I'm exploring High Rock Town Forest in Nita. This is a little entrance near the railroad bridge. Up over a railroad that no longer exists. And Needham is really not interesting in your firearm Oh, and arrow adventures in their town forest, so do have a care to refrain from such. I found this place just 10 days shy of a year ago. I was exploring the railroad line. to be a trail. It's just over this rise. And I was struck by what a charming and remarkable little place it is. Oh, another disclaimer. <laughs> Here they're not too keen on you skating. Oh, there goes a heron that I've annoyed. Poor heron. Forgive me. Pleasant little pond. Complete with its own heron keeper. And evidently a popular place for skating come winter. That's a blue jay plaint. set up, create a little pond like this. And forward we go.
the old railroad line. Wow, there's a lot of cans in here. Jeez. No wine us to fetch them. This must be some of the higher up. This is point number 16 in the Needham Trail System. Kind of an old cart path it looks like. Oh, and there's one of the beloved little birdhouse blazes. And this one is got a two colored roof to indicate the meeting of two different color coded trails. This is really why I'm here. I wanted to share the utter charm of Whoever it is, their reference somewhere who makes these and completely whimsical and wonderful little blaze markers, <laughs> tiny birdhouses. Following the green trail, for no particular reason, this is all wind based navigation. And I'm guessing I'll meet the spot where I first encountered the tiny birdhouse blazes last year. Probably factors that in. 
this is point number 17. This looks like it probably leads to the railroad tracks, but I don't think it's the spot that I came in on. Several points of trail and rail meetings. And more sassafras. Kind of a little sassafras grove. Bit of reverse blazing. Trail junctions. Mm -hmm. 